Hospitals must obtain written consent for pelvic and similar exams, the federal government says. As. OCIATED Press. Hospitals must obtain written informed consent from patients before subjecting them to pelvic exams and exams of other sensitive areas, especially if an exam will be done while the patient is unconscious, the federal government said Mon. Day. New guidance from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services now requires consent for breast, pelvic, prostrate and recta. L exams for educational and training purposes performed by medical students, nurse practitioners O. R. Physician assistants. Below are your comments. It is a totally different thing for the patient to give a broad permission to perform certain proct. Yours necessary for their own medical health, such as inserting a catheter if the surgery goes longer than expected or an emergency blood transfusion and for medical students or to pract. I went to the ER with a severe migraine and diplopia. The ER physician wanted to do a pelvic. Wrong end, doc. I declined and went elsewhere. I later found out, he was known for this kind of, diagnosis, for migraines. As someone who unknowingly had a student provide a breast and cervical exam when I thought I was C. Ing the doctor this, clarification, is way overdue. You should always know who is providing these services to you and their qualifications, you shouldn't. T have to ask to see their degrees and licenses we. I started nursing school years and years ago. The first thing that happened to us student nurses the first week was we were used as the subject so f pelvic exam training for the brand new medical students. A dozen or so of us were on beds all together in a large room with feet in the stirrups. Th. As an RN this is just one more form we will have to have you sign. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.